80% of people will suffer an episode of lower back pain in their life. Here are some exercises to help you lengthen, open out and strengthen your lower back. So this is for those of you who really have quite bad lower back pain and you really feel the muscles are quite tight. This is one way to start to allow them to release. So we call this actually a passive stretch. You're not actually doing anything. I'm using a chair. You could use your sofa, your bed. You basically want to feel that you can rest your feet on it and you've got roughly a 90 degree angle at your knee and at your hip. And then once we're there, we do nothing. We relax, we rest. And what happens is the lower back, which naturally has a little bit of a curve in it, will just gently sink downwards. You're not trying to push it down. Gravity is going to do that job for you. So we just relax here. And for maximum effect, you really need to be here for about 20 to 30 minutes. If your lower back pain is less severe or you feel that your muscles are starting to loosen, you can just encourage them to lengthen even more by adding a cushion. So any ordinary cushion from your lounge will be fine. Just place it underneath your pelvis. That just allows the pelvis to lift up a little bit further and gives the back even further to sink down. So the second one, we're going to encourage the lower back to open out more the muscles to lengthen. And we're now going to imagine that our pelvis is a bowl of water. So we're going to tilt the pelvis so that the water splashes over the rim of the bowl, over our body. This encourages the lower back to lengthen out. We're just going to hold that just for a few seconds and then return our bowl of water back to where it started so all the water remains in the bowl. And we're going to repeat. Tilt the pelvis, feel the water splash over you and then return. For our next move, we're going to encourage the lower back to lengthen even more. This time I should like you to take your feet a little bit wider and you might feel you want to take your arms a little wider too. And then we're going to fold our knees over to one side down towards the floor. You'll notice here that the opposite side of your pelvis is lifted up and away and this has allowed the lower back to stretch out bringing the legs back up to centre and then do that to the other side. And you want to do this for again 8 to 10 repetitions. And the final exercise we're going to do, this is called the bridge or the shoulder bridge. I love this particular exercise because it has so many things you can do with it but we're going to stick with the basic version today. We're going to ask the body to work a little bit harder now so only take it to a level that you're comfortable with. So we're going to go back to the previous exercise where we tilted the pelvis and we splashed the water out over our body. So we're going to ask the glutes to activate now. So think of your bottom muscles, just giving them a little bit of a squeeze. And then we start to pick the pelvis up. So for some of you, you may find this quite hard to do, so do go very gently. You may just want to lower straight back down. Once you feel you've got a bit more strength, then we're going to take that a little bit higher. Tilt the pelvis first, that's very important. And then we lift and we're gonna keep lifting up until we come into a roughly straight line. So as I look down my body, I can see the whole of my body right up to the knees. Then when I come back down, I want to feel that my rib cage gets nice and heavy. I start to sink it down and the rest of the spine starts to follow. This is really working the back muscles, tummy muscles, bottom muscles and at the same time it's lengthening all of those muscles out exactly what we want for that lower back pain. Again build up to about eight to ten repetitions but only do as much as you can to start with. As with any exercise program go very gently to start with and build up the movements gradually. Maybe start with doing them two to three times a week but if you can build it into your daily routine.